Frankie. Okay, one day, L, do not call me that. You know how I feel about being called that name. And also, two, you are so late right now, man. Like, what, what took you? What took you forever? I had a thing. You, you had a thing. I had a thing I had to do too. I was texting my girl, and like, we were actually sexting, and she wanted, you know, a picture of my, and Chuck's over there just moping around his desk like as usual, and. I just need to take care of it. Like I can barely take a picture because he's going up and down. Like I can, can I get a good picture of him? Can you please just take care of the French embassy? You guys are closer. You're closer to him than I am. All right, here's the deal. I'll go take care of him if you never talk to me about your dick again. Deal. Whatever. Also, what's up with your bag? Like, come on. What's up with that? You know what's up with that. <laughs> no, I don't. Wait, wait. Are you seriously still doing that thing? Shut up. What's up, Chuck? Leave my room, L. Why? I said, leave my room. Is this about that ginger chick? Stop, Chuck! Out of my room. No, stop! Yo! <laughs> Why did you go for a kick? I thought it would surprise him. You alright, man? No, I'm not alright. She left me. She did? I don't get it, Al. I just don't get it. We were having great sex, and then she just ended it. Like, we weren't dating, but we are getting to that point. This happens to me every time. I don't get why this is happening to me, Al. Dude. You're young. This shit doesn't matter. You'll find someone eventually. I know it. No, I I'm so sick and tired of hearing that. Be patient. You'll find somebody one day. You hear that so many times, you kind of stop believing it. Dude, like, trust me, I know how you feel. I've been in that position before. No, you don't get it. I get passed over time and time again. It happens to me all the time. You get girls. I don't. Dude, this isn't about me. And don't act like I don't get rejected either. Oh, you get rejected, so does everybody else. Want a trophy? But you get, get girlfriends. I don't. I get rejected time and time again. I'm always passed over. The friend zone's nice and all, but I'd like to have something special in my life. Look, Chuck. No, you look. I'm so sick of being passed over. I've told you this a million times. I would be a great boyfriend, L. I know I can be. I'm, I'm not no stud or anything, but I can be someone really great. Tell me I wouldn't be. Tell me! I- No! Stop! I'm sick of everyone interrupting me, like I'm some kind of chump or a bum in the block. Let me tell you something. I'm not looking to get married right now. That'd, that'd be stupid. I'm 21, but it'd be nice to have a relationship of any kind, so I know what's going on. And that's what I'm feeling right now, L. You tell me this, and tell me that! SHUT UP! For fuck's sake! You're sounding really Skywalker-y now. You know, I let you say that, because you need to let it out, okay? You just need to vent, because you've been holding that in for a while. But enough is enough. Now you need to hear me out. And then I'll leave. Capiche? that okay? Fine. Okay, this is a recurring problem for you. I get that. I'm there every single time this shit happens. I don't like seeing you this way. I'd love to find out that one of these girls are smart enough to get with you, bro. But facts are facts. You just haven't found the right one. And you keep reaching for wrong ones. Like... Let's be real. You didn't really like Quinn. You liked the idea of her. A hottie. Seemingly beyond your grasp. That was your first mistake. You didn't th think you were on her level. If you had confidence in yourself, and you were yourself, things would have worked out. I mean, just look at your hair. Your long hair. Not to go all Holden Caulfield on you, but you look like a phony. I mean, look at that hair. You don't look good. I mean, it's because Quinn likes the long hair. If Quinn didn't like the long hair, you wouldn't have it. And just because she likes it doesn't mean you look good in it. It's, it's like watching Gossip Girl, okay? You watch Gossip Girl now. And trust me, a girl don't like when you Netflix and chill when you're not chill. If you don't like it, you are chill. They're called vibes, bro. So it's all my fault? You don't get to change yourself just because of this is the girl's taste. No one likes a phony. Be yourself, okay? Look, I love you, man. But you got to find yourself and be yourself. That's the only way to get that mojo. I see. Try to feel better, man. You're stronger than you think and that you give yourself credit for. Hey, L. 
Was I really sounding Skywalkery? Anakin, bro. Thanks, Linus. Hey, man. It's what I do. Someone's gotta keep you from being a blockhead. Come on, Franklin. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait a second. This is my room! Linus is right. I just gotta be a boy named Charlie Brown. <laughs> Why do you look like the Riddler? Well, because I, I kind of felt like it. So, besides that, what you think? <laughs> Boy, you look like a Charlie Brown nut.